Two new batches of mosquitoes have tested positive for West Nile virus in Jefferson County. The samples were collected in Beaumont. KFDM reporter Megan Dillard explains mosquito control is going after the insects across the county. It's the sixth batch in Jefferson County. This one found at I-10 and Cable in Beaumont. Mosquitoes that have tested positive for West Nile virus. Mosquito Control Director Kevin Sexton says this year's numbers are through the roof. I don't remember it being this bad. I think this is uh, uh, about the worst year they've ever had for this. 13 mosquitoes in the batch collected earlier this month tested positive for the disease. Sexton says the county is working around the clock to combat the insects. When we first found the first batch or two, we concentrated in those areas. But as the, it's gone on, we found them throughout the, the incorporated areas of the county. So now we're just spraying Beaumont, Mid-County, Port Arthur. We're doing them all. Sexton says standing water is the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. The best way to protect you and your family is to get rid of any standing water on your property. Dumping water is just one way Carolyn West protects these kids. West runs the Westwood Heart of David Daycare at I-10 in Magnolia, just yards away from the most recent West Nile discovery. West says even though the nearly two dozen kids spend time outside twice a day. I'm not too overly concerned about it because uh, we're not out here that much and, it's, and as we know that they do come out at night. She says the discovery has changed the amount of time the kids spend on the playground. Usually we'll stay out an hour, but uh, if, the, if we do have an influx of those uh, mosquitoes, then we can get them out, walk them around and bring them back in. Make sure you wipe your feet. Inside or out, Wes says she'll do what she can to keep the kids bite free. In Beaumont, <laughs> Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News. The second batch of West Nile mosquitoes was collected at Carnegie and Tyler in Beaumont. The mosquito control director says workers are spraying all incorporated parts of Jefferson County. He reminds you to use bug spray with DEET, wear long sleeves, and if possible, stay inside. In Orange County, a third sample of mosquitoes is now tested positive for the West Nile virus. Mosquito control workers collected the sample from North Vider, east of Farm Road 105. In addition to the three samples that have tested positive for West Nile, there are two confirmed human cases of West Nile fever in Orange County. The county is doing extra spraying and families can do their part by taking precautions, including using repellent and, if possible, avoiding outdoor activities at night when mosquitoes that carry the disease are out.